Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I will teach you some basic things that I personally do when making an edit. Okay, let's start. We click on new composition. Now that the composition setting window opens, we can modify the resolution of our edit. There are several types of resolution in the edits, which is 1080 by 1080, which is more for aesthetic edits and the 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is for the flow or cinematic style, etc. Now we will go down where it says frame rate. I will show you here several variations of FPS, but the most recommended or the one that everyone uses is 23.9760 or 30. In terms of duration, I recommend setting it between one minute, five minutes or 10 minutes depending on your taste and the length of the video, or if you prefer the length of your audio. This is more for each person's preference. And we click on OK. Now I will show you the basic process of adding audio to the edit. But first we zoom in on the composition for more convenience when editing. Now that we're done adjusting the zoom of the composition, let's go to our 411 Discord in the audio channels Click on New Audios to discover which creator has uploaded new audios, or depending on the editing style you're going to do, choose between these channels. In my case, I'll do Aesthetics, so I'll look in the Aesthetics channel. Now I'll show you in fast motion how I find some audio that I like. Now that we find the audio that you like for your edit, we click on Download and see how it downloads in our browser, and from there, we drag the file to our After Effects. Now, we double-click on it, and this tab opens. We look for the part where we would like the audio to start. We listen to the audio and drag our time indicator to where we want the audio to start. And we click on this button that looks like a parentheses to trim the audio on the left side. And then we click on this button called Overlay Edit. And ready? The audio is added to our composition. Now we go to the end of the audio and press the B key so that the composition is only the audio part. Now we zoom in a little and select our audio, right click on it and go to the Keyframes Assistant section and click on Convert Audio to Keyframes. We go to our Effect Control section and eliminate the first two effects. We go to our Audio Amplitude, click on it and press our U key to open the effect both channels, click on Slider and go to our Graphics and frame the beats as we see on the screen. And that's it. We finish this part of adding audios. Now, I will teach you how to import video, clips, movies, etc. into our After Effects. For that, you can search for any video on YouTube or in our 411 Discord. You can find any scene pack. For now, I will use a Carti video clip that I have here and drag it to our After Effects. Now we double click on it and choose the part we want to edit. Now that we have the clip, we do the same process that we did with the audio, clicking where a parenthesis appears and then clicking on the overlay edit. And ready? We adjust the clip that starts and ends in each of the beat marks that we made previously and do the same with the other marks. Look for more clips and export them to the composition. Now I will teach you both how to cut clips. It is as easy as pressing Control, Shift, and D. And there we have it. We just select the part that we cut and press our Delete key. And ready. Now we have the clip just at the time we want. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the clip to the resolution size. Now we click on our clips and click on the arrow on the left. Then we click on the transform arrow and we can see how several options appear that we can modify and we will focus on scale, click on it and hold it down and drag the mouse to the right to zoom in and to the left to zoom out. Now, as you can see, we have adjusted the clip to the resolution of the edit. Now, if you don't like the position it is in or the character in the clip is not clearly visible, you can use position. The numbers on the left are to move it from right to left, and the ones on the right are to move it from top to bottom. And that's it. We've done it. Repeat the same thing with the other clips in the edit, and with practice it will become so natural that you'll do it like breathing. 
Now finally I will teach you how to import presets and show you a little about the graphics. Now we will open our file explorer and where we have our preset. Now click on documents, look for the Adobe folder, click on After Effects 2021 or your version and here we can see the user presets folder. If you don't have it, create it. Now that we're here, go to where we have our presets and drag them to user presets. And that's it. We've exported the preset. That easy and that simple. Now all you have to do is restart After Effects if you had it open. Now that you've restarted, you can search for your preset in Effects and Presets and it will be there. Now, just to finish this short and quick introduction, I'll show you a little bit about the graphics that I personally use in each edit and to make this time remap that I have done here. I'll explain that to you in the next video that will be published soon. So remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more tutorials. Well now, I'll show you the graphs. This is the first graphic and I personally don't use it that much. This is the second graphic and this is the one I use the most in these types of edits. And to finish this video, this graphic that I normally use to make flow edits, but it is also very good. And that's all. Remember to join our Discord. And thanks for watching this video. And remember to be an artist. Thanks for watching. And until next time.